hello guys welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to implement collapse and expand functionality in group data of collection view or list view so I already created a video about displaying group data in a collection view so just click on suggestion link to see that video okay so here I'm just uh, grouping all the employees alphabetically and displaying over here in a collection view. So now I'm just uh, going to implement collapse and expand functionality. So for that, uh, I'm just uh, going to add all the employee in employee object. After that, I will uh, do grouping using link queue query because like uh, when you fetch data from API at that time, uh, it's not going to return data in this group format so uh, let me delete this all grouping data and I'm just uh, going to add in one object so so here I'm just going to create object of employee model so in this list of employee I'm just uh, going to add some dummy record so let me add that Okay, so here I just added dummy record in all employee object now I'm just uh, going to do grouping and here in employee model so right now it's a list of employees so when I perform any operation like adding and re uh, removing data from this uh, list object it's uh, not going to reflect in UI so for that I need to use observable collection so here I'm just going to use uh, observable range collection so I have installed one plugin so you can just uh, right click on your project and just uh, click on manage new get packages and just uh, install this uh, refactor.mvvm helpers plugin so after that you can use uh, this observable range collection so now first uh, I'm just uh, going to convert this list of employee model to observable range collection now here in employee list view model I am just uh, I will do just uh, grouping of data So here I will do all employee dot group by first character of the full name and then from there I am just uh, going to select data in form of employee group because we need to add data in employee group format so for that I am just selecting employee group and in that uh, we need to pass group title and the list of employees so here the group key will be the title and that data will be the list of employee in list of employee I will pass all the data that selected uh, from this group Now this group data I am just going to add in this employees object. Ok so now let me run the application and let's see uh, it's a uh, grouping data and displaying in collection view or not. So here it throwing error ok.
okay so it's uh, displaying data now here on the click of header I'm just uh, going to remove record so for that I need to here add one command and also I'm just going to add one image here so I already added two images uh, in resources down arrow icon and up arrow icon to display here so let me add that so here in horizontal state layout I am just going to add icon so for that I need to create one property here so right now if I set icon like this so on the click of here on header like uh, when I collapse the data that time I need to change the icon so for that I need to implement here I notify property change so let me implement that so in UI for the reflection of icon like when the icon is changed I need to reflect in UI so for that purpose here I'm just going to create getter and setter for group icon so by default it will be the down arrow icon now let me set this group icon property here in image okay and here I'm just going to add now gesture recognizer and tabs gesture recognizer here I will set command so this and this the type will be the employee list view model and from employee list view model I'm just uh, going to pass command here and in a command parameter I will pass current object so now let me create uh, one command here and that command will be the type of employee group So this command now I am just going to set here in part so on the click of this header it's just going to execute this add or remove group data command now here I will check like if the group icon is down arrow icon then I am just uh, going to clear all the data from group and after that I will just set group icon to up arrow icon here in else condition I will set icon as a down arrow and here I will fetch okay so from all the employees I will just filter uh, filter records that start with uh, whatever the group title here we filtered so uh, while adding record we did group by full name first character so same way here I'm checking if the employee name start with group title then just uh, fetch that data and that data I'm just going to add in 
in this particular group now let me run the application and let's see it working or not Okay, so here on the click of header icon it's just uh, changing arrow icon as well as it's just uh, removing all the group data of uh, all the data of particular group and again on the click of this it's just adding record and let me just uh, remove this group footer uh, as I, I don't think we require it now let me run this app in ios and let's see it's uh, working or not okay so here it's uh, displaying data as well as on the click of group title it is uh, removing and adding uh, let me uh, i don't know here margin is not working for ios device uh, now let me leave in the app okay now it's uh, displaying perfect so here on the click of header it's just removing record and again on the click of it it's just adding record okay so that's all for today i hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching